So it's been good, good memories. I stayed in, I think, uh, uh, I think I stayed in Richmond or something like that. Okay, next question. Um, right here. Yep. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, he asked, uh, he asked what did Sierra and I do after we got married? Well, we had Earth, Wind, and Fire to play. <laughs> we had Earth, Wind, and Fire to play. Uh, we were, we were actually in Liverpool, England. Uh, pretty far away. And uh, we just got back to the last night. Just so I made sure I was here with you guys. And uh, so we danced tonight and we had a good time. Say what? He asked me what kind of cars I have. Uh, I have a Mercedes deal. So I, I drive a Mercedes. And, uh, so I'm not going to tell you exactly what car is. So I don't know people... Um, there's some real people in this world. <laughs> not you guys. Or not you all. Okay. Uh, right here. Yep. He asked how I feel about Marshall Lynch retiring. Now, uh, obviously, it's unfortunate for us because he's such a good football player. And uh, he plays so hard. He's made so many great plays. Um, but also, fortunately for us, we have, you know, we have a lot of good draft picks. CJ Process is a good player. Uh, uh, Tom's going to be a good player. Rawls is getting healthy again. Um, C. Mike is a good, good player. So we've got a lot of good players coming out. So that's a good thing. He asked if Sierra is going to be singing today. Uh, no, she will not be singing today. Yes, and how old I am. Uh, I am 27 years old. I feel like I'm 18. And, uh, yeah. Okay, parents, you guys have any questions? But let, I'm going to come back to you guys. Hold on. Yes. She asked me how Seattle changed my life. Um, well, first of all, obviously coming here and playing in Seattle, I'm from Virginia. I was born in Cincinnati, Ohio. I moved when I was two years old. I used to go back every year. I grew up in Richmond, Virginia. Richmond, or West Virginia. I don't know. A lot of people, I don't know. when I say that, it's, it's confusing. I grew up in Richmond, Virginia. And um, and I, I grew up there from about like two to 18. I went to NC State, played there, and then went to Wisconsin. And funny quick story, I put all the teams in the hat, put all 32 teams in the hat, pulled out the Seattle Seahawks, I said, you know, the Seattle Seahawks should be a team that's going to take me. And uh, sure enough, it happened. And, um, I heard a lot of great things about Seattle. I, I, you know, being from the East Coast, I never ever came up here this far. I heard it rained a lot. And, like, this is this is as much as it rains, like, most of the time. I don't feel like it, like, ever really pours down. Like, East Coast, you know, the East Coast, it pours. It's thunderstorms, it's lightning. You know, here it's just bristling. I can deal with that. But uh, in terms of Seattle just changing my life, obviously playing through it. Seattle Seahawks has been a blessing. I, 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 uh, I never take that for granted. You know, every day I wake up, I want to be the best in the world. And I want to, uh, you know, uh, win multiple world championships, and I want to uh, affect affect the uh, culture. And I think that's the ultimate goal for me. And the same thing for Seattle and I. We want to be able to be big in the community and, and give back as much as we can, and uh, show as much love to people as much as, much as we can. This is an awesome city. I, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Uh, you, know, um, you know, just the people are truly genuine, and, and, and it feels like home, and it is home. So I love being here. Okay, parents. My man in the, uh, in the back up there in the jacket. Always. Ready, you don't have to get ready. I like the way you're thinking. The man in, uh, I think it's the green hat right there. Yep. Can you talk about the importance of academics for these kids and uh, being a two-foot sport athlete, how you make the decision on which direction to go? Great question. Um, so, for the first part of your question, the uh, importance of academics. My parents always stressed the idea of academics. So, to be honest with you guys and, and girls, I, uh, I wasn't the best student growing up. I, I mean, I was a smart 
kid, but I wasn't really that smart. You know? I had a lot of friends that were way smarter than me. I loved sports. I was a tremendous athlete. I used to play football, basketball, baseball, all that stuff. Uh, I thought I was going to play two sports. You know, I, that was my dream, playing two sports in the big league, big league baseball, NFL. So I was a big, big sport person. I played in the summer. We had A, they called it, in baseball. I'm not sure if they do that anymore these days. But um, we played baseball all the time. And I played like 100 plus games in the summertime when I was growing up. And so school to me, I was like, ah, whatever. If I play pro, pro sports, it's, you know, I, what, what do I do? There's so much money there. I don't have to worry about school or anything like that. But the reality is when I got into, I, I was kind of a C student, C plus, B minus student. And uh, growing up, you know, until about eighth, ninth grade, I really started getting good, good, good grades because I realized sports was going to be easy for me. Sports was the part that I loved doing. It was, was this part that got me gifted and gifted and whatever. Um, and I could throw, I gave me big hands, I could run, and all that kind of stuff. But ultimately, I knew if I really wanted to take my life further than where I wanted to go, business wise, be on TV, do anything I wanted to do in life is to be able to communicate with, with everyone from all different cultures, all, di all different socioeconomic statuses. I knew that I had to really push my academics. So my parents really pushed me in that. They, uh, they really helped show me the way. My dad went to Dartmouth, so he, he was an intelligent man. My mom from PDA, she was an intelligent woman. So they helped, helped me uh, really narrow my focus. And I had great friends. And I had great friends to help surround me and give me that assistance and help me you know, study and all that kind of stuff. So once I figured that out, especially in 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th grade, um, I really started getting good grades. And all the effort I put into sports, you know, that 100% effort all the time I put into sports, then I started to put 100% effort into academics and school. And it made everything easy. Because what it did was that I didn't have the stress about doing papers late or having to re-edit and go see teachers two, two months, you know. I went to go see the teachers beforehand. I went to go see them, you know, a week before the test or the week before the essay was due, or whatever that is. And so academics made my life soar and made everything accelerate, and that's why I'm here today. Uh, the second question was referring to what again? Yeah, the two sport. That was probably one of the hardest decisions of my life, deciding to play pro baseball, pro football. And uh, honestly, what I did was I just kept my options open. So for all you parents and kids here, and coaches, high school coaches, whatever, uh, I think it's really, really important. I say this, try to say this every time I go to camp, is don't limit them. You know, there's so many things that, uh, especially nowadays, oh, just play, he's really good at basketball, so just let him play basketball, just do that. Or just play baseball, or just play football, you know, and he's gonna be a quarterback, so just, just let him, just let him go to quarterback camps all year round. Well, the reality is, come Sunday, on a, on, a, on a game day, and you guys watch me play, there's so many different throws, there's so many different movements, and I promise you, playing multiple sports, you know, helps you play the game of football, helps you play the game of basketball, helps you play the game of baseball. And, uh, you know, Coach Carroll's a big, you know, person in, in, that, in that way, too. He really believes that, you know, because the more sports you can play, the more things you can do, the more experiences you have, the more competition that you're in, the more different styles of competition, the, the more you're going to elevate from the games you're in. The more you're going to be able to make certain throws, and work, make certain plays, and certain catches, and, and uh, defend, and do all those things. And so, and I think the bigger thing, uh, broader perspective of the two-sport aspect, especially growing up with these young kids, is that, you know, when you just play one sport and, and then you're, you're really just focused on one thing, in my opinion, I think it really limits you. And also, nowadays with, with uh, you know, video games and all that, kids just stay inside all the time. So they're either playing one sport, or they're, if they're not playing that one sport, they're inside playing video games all day. They're not really uh, growing socially. They're not really talking to other kids. You know, one thing I can say is, I was always playing with so many different people. You know, I got to talk to so many different kids, and play against so many different kids, and, and figure out people's different styles of play, and, on all different sports. And as a result, I was able to relate to a lot, a lot of different people. And I think that gives you an opportunity as you grow older, to not only know how to play the game and play the game a different way when you're, when you're in a certain uh, competitive uh, state, you know, you, know, you know how to make certain plays, but ultimately you know how to communicate, you know how to relate to other people. 
and uh, so I, I think choosing football and baseball is one of the hardest decisions. But I went to Wisconsin, played my senior year, and I ended up getting drafted, and and, uh, and so that was kind of my direction. I just let it play itself out. Uh, let's go back to the kids real quick. Right here. Here uh, is somewhere around here, I think, too. See, it's somewhere around. It's here. Okay. Right here. You asked me what position I played in baseball. In the pros, I played second base, and I, uh, I played in the field. And then uh, in high school and college, I played shortstop second, and I played pitcher. Yep. Way in the back right there. He asked me what I think about Bruce Irvin going to the Raiders. Uh, I, I love Bruce Irvin. He's such a good player, man, a good friend. We came in, into the league together in class of 2012, and, and, uh, I'm happy for him. I'm happy that he, you know, he got paid and uh, he's playing with a, uh, a, a really good football team. And uh, he's going to be a great, great football player for a long time. He's, he's got a lot of ability. I wish he was in our team. Okay, and let's go far right corner. Right corner. Right corner. <laughs> he asked, she asked if I. If, I've already gone on my honeymoon, or uh, if I'm going on, on my honeymoon. Well, we were in Liverpool, and we went to London for a couple of days. I don't think C is counting as a honeymoon. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I got football to do, she's got work to do. We're both busy people, so I had to be here with you guys today, which is exciting. And uh, so yeah, we'll probably go after we win the Super Bowl. Thank you, dear. 
Okay, a little man in the front right here. He asked me if I wore my which ring. He asked me if I wore my ring a lot. Which ring? He asked me if I wore my Super Bowl ring a lot. You know, I uh, I wear it occasionally. I try not to put it on too much because I'm looking forward to the next one. I don't like having a logo on as much. Okay, you got a kid over there in the gray uh, out of the gay sweatshirt. What's my favorite football team or player? Okay, my favorite team, my favorite team growing up. This is the truth. I'm a, uh, I'm a fair weather fan, so I like whoever was winning. So let's go back to my childhood over here. I was a Cowboys fan for a little bit, and I became a 49ers fan for a little bit. I did, I did, I did, don't judge me. I, I, I said I was going to tell you the truth. Don't judge me. I was a 49ers fan for a little bit. That went away shortly. Uh, and then I became a Green Bay Packers fan. Yeah, I don't know why you're cheering. And then I became, uh, and then I became a Patriots fan. I know, I know, it's sad, it's sad, man. And then I became a New Orleans Saints fan in college. I like watching Drew Brees play. And then I became a Seahawks fan. And now I'm a Seahawks fan. Well, so, that is the truth. Hey, in the back back there, yeah? What's my inspiration? I have a few inspirations. I think first of all, uh, God inspires me. The fact that he gave me the ability to play the game of football. Um, you know, I think it's my duty to uh, be grateful every day to play the game and to be able to do what I get to do. It's around the world, around here in Seattle. Um, you know, he's given me so much and I think I, I'm required to give back. You know, I think it's a major part of it. And uh, every time I get to drive down 405 uh, South to go to work, you know, I thank God every morning I get to play the game I love. You know, and, uh, you know I think about it all the time. I'm one of 32 men in the world that get to do what I get to do, you know. And uh, that's a blessing in itself, you know. So I, I think about that every morning, you know. I think about that every night. Uh, every time I'm on the field, I'm just so grateful. Game day is a spiritual day for me, but it's just a... It's just a a great opportunity just to give him the praise. I, I, my, my parents inspired me. My, my dad's not here no longer, but my mom is, and she actually lives in Seattle now. Uh, moved her out here, so uh, it's just good to be around her, my family, and my sister, and my brother. They both inspired me. My sister just went to Stanford, just took her to school. She's going to be a, uh, a freshman playing basketball and full scholarship there at Stanford. So she inspires me. My brother inspires me. Um, and he's six years older than me, and uh, that meant the world to me. He used to block my shot every day playing basketball, and uh, used to play baseball in the back at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. in the morning growing up. Um, and then once I started beating him in baseball, hitting home runs, I quit. But, uh, but those people inspire me. I think uh, Sierra inspires me to watch her work ethic. Um, you know, and uh, just family in general, but also my teammates. I think my teammates just speak up with how they work and how they how they go about the business. It's, uh, it's fun. It's fun to play with certain people. Okay, let's go back to the kids real quick. Trey, since you came up and danced earlier, you have a question. Were you a Cowboys fan? Okay, Trey is now a Cowboys fan. I don't know why I called him. Just kidding. Um, so, uh, so he asked if I if I see the Cowboys as a threat. I see any of the 31 teams that are in the league as a threat, and I look forward to that. I look forward to that moment of play. Any other parents? Oh, we got a coach. He asked me what defensive player concerns me the most. None of them. True story. I don't get worried about that. There's some good players there. But none of them concern me.
We didn't lose Super Bowl 50. We didn't go to Super Bowl 50. Um, he asked me why we lost Super Bowl 50. I said we didn't go to Super Bowl 50, so we didn't lose it. Um, but hopefully we'll win Super Bowl 51. Tall man in the back. He asked if I got recruited highly in high school. Not really, no. I got, um, I, uh, I was a two-star. Um, I went to the All-American Combine thing they had. I still have it in place. I went to that. Um, I played really well. I was, like, the third, I was, like, the third guy there. And I kind of shocked some people there. I was, I was, I was at Louisville. Um, and, uh, and so anyway, so I, I got recruited by Alabama. I got recruited by Ohio State. But they only wanted me to play either sport, either baseball or either football. They wanted me to let me play both. So I said, I just told them from the get go, no, I'm fine. And then uh, I got recruited by ACC schools to play both sports. So like Duke, uh, UNC, Virginia, Virginia Tech, uh, NC State, um, and uh, a couple other schools. And then I chose NC State because it was the best school for me in the sense of uh, the two sports. The both sports were really, really good. NC State was okay at football at the time. Um, but they had a lot of great players coming in and stuff. And, uh, and then NC State baseball was like top five in the country. And they were, they were, it was kind of like playing SEC football. The, the fans were really into it. And that was really cool. Okay, uh, one more adult. Well, I said one more adult. You guys are adults. One more officer. Uh, my man right here. I can throw it. I can throw it about 70 to 75 yards. My arm's not warm right now. You gotta let me lift this thing up a little bit. Let me throw a little bit first. Uh, and uh, one last. We have two more kids. Two more kids. A tall guy right here in the middle back here. what it was like to walk into the Seahawks locker room for the first time. Uh, it was exciting, man. I knew that uh, this is the place for me. I just knew. I just knew. And uh, I had, had to beat the odds a little bit. And in my opinion, I still have to. And every day I wake up, I have still have to beat the odds. And so uh, every day I wake up, I'm grateful to walk in there. Okay, last question here. Let's go to the lady right here in front. <laughs> she asked me, how many records do I hold? I don't know. I don't pay attention to them yet. I'll look back on it when I'm done playing. Okay, so we have something to do here. Okay. Hey, so uh, we have three winners in the Alaska tent today. Uh, you should have gotten your prize. So we're going to call you down now and gonna take a photo with Russ. Uh, please bring your prize with you when you come down. Uh, Charles Kemp. We have a Charles Kemp anywhere. There we go. Uh, Nathan Monta? Nathan? What is that? Nathan? Nathan? Coming. Okay. And a John Zoller? Daily? Sorry for not pronouncing this correct. Is that three? Okay, and we also had a um, raffle in the camp store. So you should have a blue coupon. And the is uh, 383710. Come on down. Bring your coupon with you.